Shalom. This is Mary Omni from the World Government House of King David, Holy Covenant Constitutional Enforcer. This is a Republic Notice. This is December 2013. The title of this Republic Notice is called How Snoop Lion, the Godfather of Rap, Preempted Eminem. How Snoop Lion, the godfather of rap, preempted Eminem. Okay, I don't know how much you see or how much you into rap. I'm, you know, I take it here and there. You know, I'm not going to say I'm uh, totally, you know, immersed in it. But I know that now Eminem is trying to claim that he's the god of rap or he's the rap god. And I'm telling Eminem, you know... Guess what? This is a warning. And here's the warning. You're under conviction for blasphemy. Okay? Blasphemy. Because you're not the God of anything, especially anything that was already constitutionally preempted for you to be of God of anything that came from black Americans. Okay? Now, Snoop Lion is the godfather of rap. And if you listen to this last group of videos, I tell you how sometime destiny is already set because we are the matrix. We're not trapped in it. We are the matrix. We're the direct children of the cosmic mother. So we're the direct blood of the cosmic mother. Snoop Lion is the godfather of rap. And he called himself Snoop Dogg. D-O-G is already constitutionalized as non-consented. D-O-G is dog. It has the letters, same letters as G-O-D. D-O-G and G-O-D has the same lettering, okay? So Snoop Dogg called himself the God Father of Rap a long time ago. He put a seal on that John, okay? He put a seal on the letters G-O-D. He put a seal on them. Whether they go forward or backwards, they was already sealed because it's the same letters, Jack. And you can't, you can't turn it into nothing else if it's the same letterings, okay? You can switch the other way, but you, it's still Johnny come lately because the letters was already preempted constitutionally. Snoop Lion is the godfather of rap that was destined in the Akashic record, okay? He represented the dog star called Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. 8.6 years, 8.6 million light years away. The brightest star which the pyramids was synchronized with, the dog star called Sirius, okay? Now his name is Snoop Lion, but let's talk about the Snoop. The Snoop stands for the S is the serious for the dog star serious. The N is for the non-consent. The O is for the of. The other O is for omnipresence. The other P, the P is for property. So serious non-consent of omnipresent property of the dog star serious. That's who Snoop Lion represents. The Dog Star Series, the G-O-D, one of the brightest stars in the sky. The mysterious secrets of the Dog Star Series that synchronized with the pyramid, which synchronized with the flood or the coming of the flood with Isis. Okay? It was the sign of the flooding seasons. It's the pyramid is set on all three of them towards and with the Dog Star Series. The Dog Star Sirius is the gate, the gate of many things, but it's a kept gate, okay? And he's snooped and he preempted Eminem from ever holding the title of a rap god because the letters and the god is already taken. But since Snoop Dogg respected God and didn't want to perpetrate blasphemy, he called himself Snoop Dogg. Instead of a rap god, go to the dog star series, just like a lot of black men call each other dogs. 
that's a way of calling them each other, recognizing who they are on other cosmic levels, okay? So the Dog Star series is not to be played with. Like I said, Snoop snooped in and preempted Eminem from ever having any legitimacy whatsoever to being a so-called rap guy. Now, if Dr. Dre produced Eminem, then all Eminem could ever be is a physician's assistant because you ain't going to be bigger than the Dr. Dre that produced you. So all you can be is a physician's assistant. So you far from a rap guy. The most you can be is a physician assistant, okay? Because Dr. Dre is the doctor, and you his physician assistant because you his protege, all right? You now, hear me up in here. Snoop Dogg don't have nothing to do with this. Snoop Lion knows nothing about this, of, of me speaking on this. But I'm talking about non-consented constitutional supreme property. See, I'm about the Constitution, and constitutionally, you're preempted from being a rap god you preempted from anything about the creation of rap when you call yourself a rap god you're blaspheming talking about you created rap god is creators okay now like i said snoop dogg already took the lettering all right he already got the alpha lettering the alpha lettering belonged to snoop dogg he constitutionalized the jack he put it in the akashic record jack okay he's the godfather of rap and he didn't chose you. He didn't say he gave his title to you. As a matter of fact, it's non-consented in the Akashic Record and it's non-consented in the Constitution in North America. So you can have a done contract and you can be phony with Babylon, but you won't have no legitimacy. And see, if you want to be a part of this holy covenant and people and you want to maintain standards, because I don't hold nothing against you, Eminem. I don't hold nothing against you. This is not nothing against you per se, but I don't like the fact that you think because Babylon accepts you and a lot of blacks got Stockholm Syndrome over you because you have a black choir behind you a lot of time and you do your rap with black people and you seem down with us. See, and this coming from a place where a lot of people act like they down with us, then they want to turn into the backstabbing position. What they do, they smile in your face all the time, want to take your place, backstabbers. They smiling in your face all the time want to take your place. See, you want to move and say you created rap. See, that's what you call a smiley face, a backstabber. You know, somebody invites you in to their family and treat you like family. Then you say, I'm taking over the family. I'm the top. I created all this stuff. So you perpetrating a fraud, which means you becoming fake, Eminem. It was becoming fake. That means your soul is on the line. That means that somewhere in there, you want Satan to collect your soul. Now, you, you're you safe with blacks. And this is to warn you. You're being convicted for warning because the God of Israel likes you. So I'm giving you a warning. Stop the blasphemy. Stop the blasphemy. You could never be a God. Okay. Snoop Dogg, by supreme contract as the godfather of rap, uh, representing the Dog Star series, you know, the home of the true, the true cosmic realm, you know, preempted you even by constitutionality on earth. Okay? So don't try to go with this Elvis Presley type of scenario in this late date at the end of end of time okay so you trying to perpetrate an elvis elvis stand for evil e-l-v-i-s you know it's the same thing evils evils elvis evils it's the same lettering jack it's the same lettering elvis evil now he may be the king he may be your king and babylon whore's king and the whores of babylon the whore for satan he may be their king but guess what chuck berry chuck berry is the is the is the godfather of rock and roll chuck berry chuck berry is the godfather of rock and roll and just like snoop have native american non-consent and i got a video about black's whole supreme native american non-consent supremacy snoop dogg native american black native american judasian jack and then his name is snoop lion now chuck berry native american uh 
James Brown, Native American, the godfather of soul. Chuck Berry, Native American, the godfather of rock and roll. Snoop Dogg, Native American, the godfather of rap. And don't you ever forget it because they native by contracts. They in all native contracts. They in a constitutional contract and they belong to the nation of Judah, the supreme non-consenters, the supreme non-consenters that preempted anyone from claiming what's theirs. You will have never have a contract that match theirs. You will never, never, ever be written in a caution record as creating anything. You know, you will and you may you may find yourself at hell's door if you keep committing blasphemy and keep saying you got a right to steal a title that's not yours. You didn't create the art form called rap. It goes way, way back with us. Way, way back with us. So you can't call yourself a god of it because you didn't create it. All you did was parrot it. Yeah, you parrot it. A bird can parrot. So don't take no more credit than then it's really true due to you, okay? Because a rap goes way back with us. And it was commissioned by the nation, the kingdom of King David commissioned rap. And that's why it was constitutionalized as preemption of those who would come behind and deal like, try to do like Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley couldn't be no king because it was preempted. He had nothing to do with true creation of rock and roll. Yeah, he parroted, it. He hung around blacks. He parroted, it. He sang all their songs. But he didn't create rock and roll. Chuck Berry is the godfather of rock and roll. And he sealed that title. Snoop Dogg was chosen, was chosen by the kingdom of David to be the godfather of rap. He called himself Snoop Dogg representing the Dog Star Series, okay? So let's not get ahead of ourselves. You know, when you're convicted, it's a warning to you that your, head, that your, that your soul is getting ready to get garnished if you don't straighten up and fly right, okay? See, I don't care whether the sons of the New Jerusalem speak to you or not. I'm a mother of the New Jerusalem, and I'm not going to let you perpetrate a fraud of what was given the sons of Jerusalem as their inheritance commissioned by the kingdom of David. Okay? Now, this goes for the whole Babylon trying to create uh, another category of white soul and all this old kind of stuff. See, all this stuff is going to come to a close when you find out that you got nothing but done contracts, because that's what you're going to find out, that you don't own nothing but a done contract and all you got is fiat money to cover it up. OK, Snoop Lion got the real contract and he graduated to a lion after he after he fought Knox. The letters D-O-G for the Dog Star Sirius. And after that was locked down and Fort Knox by constitutional and on in the public and the republic record and the Akashic record. Then he earned his way to the Lion of Judah and became the Snoop Lion. OK, and he is a upholder of the New Jerusalem Wall. He's a husband. He got a beautiful daughter, a beautiful wife, beautiful sons. He give back to the, the small boys and helping them do sports and everything. So he's a real uh, uh, he's a he's a real Jerusalem wall holder. He's down. OK, he's down with his nation. He's ribbon. He's ready for the bed OK, so, you know, you can't try to perpetrate and move in on somebody who's ready for the bed and, and done earn their right to who they are in their status. You can't take nothing away from them because it's already locked down. It's already locked down. Now, you just like right now, you can't come and call yourself a lion because he locked that down in rap, too. OK, he's a new Jerusalem wall holder, Jack. See, we got some 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 rappers that are really upstanding men that are family men, regardless of what they do to make their living. OK, so you ain't going to move in there. Now, you can call yourself what you want. OK, but you going to start be seen as fake when people hear this, because you could never be a rap God. OK, you can be a fake. You can be a delusional. You can be under strong delusional. You could be a megalomania. You could be, uh, you know, playing games with yourself. And then you can get Babylon to go along with it because they, they don't give a damn about you. Okay? So this is a warning.
You can never be a rap god. It's non-consented. Infringement on trademark, constitutionality, and copyright means you ain't going to leave nothing for your daughter. So you go ahead and strip your daughter of her little inheritance all you want. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David. Shalom.